lady B. Hey. Tacky, Black. I keep my game tacky. Yo, yeah, I'm so nappy. I'm all big. Cause that be natural. The infamous. Hey. Looking tacky, cause I keep my game tacky. Oh, I'm so pretty, I'm so fat, boo. I'm so natural. It's like a tail, boo. I'm your girl infamous lady d of afros and baby hairs and today i am just in the middle of working on this crochet wig um i had to go get more hair because i didn't have enough but i'm going to finish this today and once i'm done i'm going to sew this wig onto another wig cap because i don't really like this one i don't think this will hold up like i like it needs to but yeah that's what i'm working on today guys so if you're interested in seeing what i'm doing uh then keep on watching this uh a project that couldn't be done so i wanted to you know see if that is 100 percent true but anyway I uh, ran out of hair in the actual hair that I was using. This particular beauty supply store didn't have it. So I'm hoping this one, it looks a little bit shorter. But I think it'll serve the purpose. And it's also a different color. <clears throat> but. Just trying to get a look for the summer you know sometimes we don't, don't want to do our hair so we can have a, a wig to throw on and yeah I uh, wish that this, this could have been made onto a satin wig cap but I haven't seen one yet that um, you know has the holes in it that's made out of satin. So this is like a nylon material. And I'm just going to fill in the actual spots that I have left. And then I go in and fill in any gaps. I'm just trying to fill up the majority of the head first. And yeah, like I said, I just wanted to challenge myself on this because I feel like a wig can be made out of any hair. So, yeah. And this particular wig head, I just ordered this and it wasn't, uh, I guess it was a male functioned <laughs> uh, wig head because it's not fitted on the stand like it's supposed to the little knob that goes on the inside is not fitting like it's supposed to so I just put some electrical tape on it and hopefully that will hold up but I don't even know it's not a steady or a sturdy uh, stand right now, but I'm working with it, you know. It's no different than doing someone's hair that's, you know, alive. They move around, they move their heads, you know, so it's not that big of a deal to me. So, I just wish I could have got a actual product that work properly or fit together properly but it's all good so yeah I'm just crocheting this through the netting and um, 
like I said, I'm going to go back and uh, sew this particular wig cap to another wig cap so that it will be more secure and I won't have to worry about this netting not holding up. I mean, it's, it's okay for now. I mean, you can get so much wear out of this, but I don't feel like this particular cap will last like a lifetime. You know what I'm saying? I don't even have the faith that it's gonna last like a couple of years. So yeah, I wanna put it on something a little bit more sturdy. So even though I, I'm gonna finish this today, I'm not going to try it on today. Because, like I said, I do have to sew it on to a uh, a different wig cap before I can try it on. And I will have it on in another video. Just to show y'all the end results. But for right now, this is just something that I'm working on. I was just curious to see whether this is a thing. Or was it possible and obviously it is and they also have wig caps that have the braids on them so depending on how this turns out I have another some more hair this crochet hair that I can make into the wig and I will use that particular cap to do that Just to see if it's easier or is it better like that. So, but so far, once I figured out how to crochet this hair into the netting, then it was a breeze. And I like to come from underneath, but since this is knitting and not a real person's head, I have to come from the side. And you can make these as full as you want to or as uh, thin as you want them. Because this is some lightweight hair anyway. So it's not going to feel that heavy on the head. But the thicker that it is, you know, for some people that could be bothersome. I actually wore this style, you know, braided into my hair at one point. So these are very lightweight braids. This, you know, if you do plan on wearing like a braided wig to wear your braids underneath, like your cornrows to make sure to wear cornrows underneath. That's just what I think would look better. I've never worn a braided wig before. So I just feel like because of the netting in the cap, that would make it look more realistic. Is if you actually had, you know, braids underneath with your scalp exposed. But that's just my opinion. And I'm kind of just like putting them in the way that I want them to go. Like this side is pretty much going to this side. This side is pretty much going to that side, you know, so they can have that particular shape. It's hard at all. type of person I don't really like to buy hair and throw it away that that was my issue with weave all together as well you spend a lot of money on the weave and then it only lasts long and then you have to throw it away 
but wigs you can get a lot of use out of them and they last longer. So one in business. stop wearing them because they were like the wigs, the wig caps underneath was rubbing the size of my head and it's made my hair thinner but now we have the option to get better like caps underneath protecting our hair from the wigs like satin caps. So I may consider this. I need it. All my hair has fallen on the floor. So anyway, like I said, I'm just feeling trying to fill in. remainder of the cap and then I'll go fill in gaps as I see fit once I'm done And I'm going to sew the cap on by hand. I don't have a sewing machine right now. But I do plan on getting one. But I still feel like I'm not going to sew any of my wigs on a sewing machine. I feel like the hand sewn ones are better. And you have, you know, more control over what's going on. Maybe in the future, you know. I may use the sewing machine, but some things I just like to sew with my hand. And this one right here is looking too gappy, so I'm gonna go ahead and fill this in right here. I started on this last night. I just ran out of hair and um, had to go get some more. I really wasn't really for sure how I was gonna do all of it, but you know, this is under development and research, research and development, trial and error. So I'm just. You know, trying to figure out how to make crochet wigs. And I've seen people use like hot glue guns and stuff like that. I mean, that's cool, but I just don't see how the hot glue gun, which is just, you know, a plastic, you know, I just don't see how that will last long you know I see that it's easy and convenient but I don't see how that is a lasting method you know what I'm saying seems like the uh, plastic the glue turns into excuse me plastic and then it can start to rub off rub away you know what I'm saying so I can see if we just try to do something really quickly but for the most part, I think we should be sewn. And it doesn't really take that long to sew them, you know. But to each his own, you know. Maybe one day if I'm in a hurry and I need a wig, I might uh, hot glue gun on one too. But I'm not knocking it. I'm just saying I just don't see how, you know, you will have long-lasting results 
using a glue gun. You know what I'm saying? Nah, I'm not gonna hide it. Just saying. Strictly my penis. Everything is worth trying, you know. There ain't nothing wrong with trying Anyway, I'm just going to continue on.
Oh yeah guys, so far this is how it's looking. I think I'm about finished. Wear the hair up. But like I said, I mean, you can use this particular net, but I just don't feel like it would last that long on this particular net. So I'm just going to sew it onto another cap. Maybe even a satin cap. I don't know. But yeah. So this is all I'm going to do for now. I will show the end results when I'm completely done with the wig. But for now, this is how it's looking. And that's why I said too to have braids underneath because your scalp will be showing in between here. But you can wear this, you know, however you want to without putting all the extra tension on your own braids. So, yeah. I will do a uh, try on once I have the different, the other hat on here that I want. And like this particular spot, if you all can see this on camera, the netting tore. So that's what I'm saying. I don't think that this would be sufficient for the long haul. So I'm going to sew this with my uh, weaving thread and needles. I'm going to sew it back up. And then I'm going to sew this whole entire wig onto it onto a different cap. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, concerns, uh, suggestions, anything like that, please leave them below in the comments. And I do want to thank you all for tuning in today. Um, yeah, so uh, follow us on Twitter. Follow us on, well, we're not on Twitter. Follow us on Instagram and Facebook. Like, subscribe, hit the notifications bell, share this video with a friend if you think it's helpful or informative. And yeah, thank y'all once again for tuning in. Peace and love. And as always, be blissful. See on the track. track. Cause they're few natural. Lady D. I keep my game tackled. Yo, yeah, I'm so nappy and my big. Cause they're few natural. The infamous. I ain't looking tacky cause I keep my game tackled. I'm so pretty, I'm so fat, boo. I'm so nappy, it's like a tail, boo. I'm so filthy, got the tattoos. Fuck any bitches like I own rap, boo. All my business with my platoon. Give me these minutes like I'm a top boo. Y'all this jersey on that cartoon. And I'm sitting on top with these buffoons. I'm so nappy. I'm so nappy, all these dudes that wanna get at me I'm so cultured and I'm happy Just as which you wanna come back me Cause I'm comfortable in my skin End of the day you lose I win I'm so comfortable in my ends Don't care if I make or lose a few friends And I look like a